Hello bookworms! Today I'm here to do a video about my top 10 favorite book covers of 2016. All of these covers are for books that were published in the year 2016 and I did a video like this last year so I'll leave a link to that one down below if you want to see that one as well. I'm in my old room, my old filming space back then so nostalgia. But um, this is actually the second time that I'm filming this video because the first time it was really blue and I had a giant knot on the back of my head, so take two. I'm like trying to remember what I even said in the last one, but basically, I really enjoy book covers. I think that they are the first thing that attracts a reader to picking up that book, that first attraction that you feel when you see a beautiful cover that just speaks to your heart. Um, so I think that book covers are really important. I really appreciate art and I just love like seeing all of the creativity and all of the work that goes into designing something that so many people will potentially see and pick up because of that cover. So I like to honor the ones that I think are the best um, and that is what this video is all about and I actually ranked my uh, my choices as well, which is something that I don't normally do because it's really hard, but I've been trying to like force myself to make these hard decisions lately. So all of my um, end of year videos will be ranked. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with this one. So at number 10, I have A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. This is the second book in the A Darker Shade of Magic series, and I love that it is very similar to the first cover. Um, they, like, fit in theme together very well, but I just love when covers use black, white, and red as, like, the prominent colors that you see. It's very, it's like a very classic look, and it just, without fail, always looks great together. So I really love this one. I love how the hands are reaching up and they still have like the different maps of the Londons in them. And then here in the middle we have who I am going to assume is Lila um, because the lips look rather feminine to me. And I just love like I think that's such a striking jacket. And she's carrying two daggers um, and I just think that it looks really really beautiful and it just totally fits so well with the first book cover. Um, so yes. I totally love this one. At number nine, I have Shiny Broken Pieces by Danielle Clayton and Sonia Cherapotra. This is the second book in the Tiny Pretty Things duology, and it is a book about very mean backstabbing ballerinas, and they're very dramatic and very entertaining. But um, I particularly love this cover because it's kind of like the inverse of the first cover. The first cover is like a grayish black background with pink ribbon, and th then this one is a pink background with black ribbon. On top of that, I love that there is like all of this broken glass because it is shiny broken pieces. Um, so I'm not sure if it's glass or if it's like possibly the pieces of like a mirror or something, but it's so gorgeous. And just the way that they use the ribbon to make that typography, I just think it's like so gorgeous. At number eight, I have Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them by J.K. Rowling. This one is one of my favorites because one of my favorite things about book covers, like one of my favorite elements is I love when book covers have that like textured papery feel and I also love when they have raised typography. So that has both of these things, which I adore, um, but I just love like all the gold filigree and just the whole design of it is really, really pretty and I love the way that they incorporate a beast into the S on the novel cover um, and it just has like like the beasts are just kind of like hidden in the design. It doesn't look like um, like these like cartoon caricatures of the beasts. They're so like elegant and they just look so pretty. But then also one of my favorite things about this is that when you open it right here on this front cover, there is a gold Niffler who is my favorite beast from the movie. So I really like this and I love that the cover also looks um, kind of like a denim feel. Like it looks like a pair of jeans and it's just so pretty. At number seven, I have Tell Me Three Things by Julie Buxbaum. This book was a super cute contemporary story and I really love the cover because it's very minimalistic but it has these waffles on here with powdered sugar on top of them and I really love that and part of the reason why I enjoy it so much is because 
the main character and the person that she speaks with, they talk um, constantly and they always start by telling each other three things about themselves. Um, so one of the things that the girl says about herself is that her favorite word is waffle because it means like to go back and forth, but it also is a delicious food. So I love how they incorporated that onto the cover and I just think that it's really pretty. Probably difficult to see from so far away, but there's also like the faint outline of some of the conversations that they've had with each other on this entire cover. So it's like very faintly covered in words, but then we have the bold waffles and the title and I just think it's really really nice. At number six I have Reign of Shadows by Sophie Jordan. This book is a fantasy retelling of Rapunzel, so obviously one of my favorites of the year. It was so good um, and it's also really short, um, but this cover is so pretty because it looks very much like a photograph um, and that they ended up like saturating different areas in this like very much. So there's like these red flowers that pop a bit and then also like the vines specifically pop a lot. This is also a really nice cover because it's one of those like matte ones that just feels really nice to the touch. I remember seeing like the flat digital image of it online and thinking like, okay, that's like pretty nice. But then seeing it in person, I was like, whoa, that is a way better cover than I was led to believe it would be from that image. <laughs> At number five, I have Girl Against the Universe by Paula Stokes. Orange is actually probably one of my least favorite colors, so I am kind of surprised that I liked this cover so much, but I thought that it was just like a fun, unique color for a tennis court. So I like that it has that like kind of like tie-dye feel to it and like watercolory. It's just like very pretty. But then at the bottom here, there is this girl who's like laying like that on the tennis court. And I really like that because she's actually illustrated, whereas the rest of it looks like it could be kind of like a watercolor, like photography type thing. Um, so it's just really cool. Like I think that it blends, I don't know if it's mixed media or not, but it kind of like feels that way to me. Um, and I love this, like that she has this open notebook here and one of the pages just has a heart drawn on it. Um, so I just think it's really pretty and it definitely gives you a feel of what the book is going to be about because this girl clearly looks like she is against the universe. At number four, I have This Is Our Story by Ashley Elston. I kind of talked extensively about this cover in other videos because I just freaking loved this book so much. But part of that reason, like even before I read it, was because of this cover. I love this deer head. I think that it is so beautiful. I have something similar um, on my desk and I just think it's like so pretty. But what really makes this for me is that this is the story of five boys who go into the woods together, but only four of them come out. And this book also has five boy shadows across here, but then there's one of them that is covered by this deer head because he's the boy that is kind of like hunted in the woods. So there's that, but then also here, it's called This Is Our Story. But if you look at the letters, his story is also blacked out because it's all about like finding the truth and the real, story behind Grant's story, who's the boy that passed away. I also love this blue color, and this is just one of my favorite covers of the year. Like, I love it so, so much. Now I'm getting to the top three covers on my list. The first one being This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills. This one, I think the use of color is just fantastic. Like the way that it goes from this light blue at the top and then just like blends all the way down into this greenish teal. It's just so like aesthetically pleasing. I just think that it's so beautiful. I love like all of these white broken stars that really pop against this background and it makes you feel like, it looks like paint. Like it looks like someone painted like the ocean or the sky or something and it just looks so gorgeous. Um, and just the way that all of the words and stuff are kind of like interwoven into this beautiful background. This cover just really like spoke to me. At number two, we've got yet another deer head. I have The Raven King by Maggie Stiefvater, which is the fourth and final book in The Raven Cycle. I have loved this cover since it was released online. I think it is so beautiful. Um, and I love how like if you look very like deeply into it, you can see all of the gorgeous brush strokes. And there's also all of these like white dots that are painted in it. So it gives you kind of like a very like galaxy-like feel. I just think it's so pretty. And then there's also the ravens that are flying overhead um, and the white parts of the cover are well actually the whole cover is pearlized which is also like a really nice thing um, that they do with covers sometimes 
and I just think it's really, really beautiful. Even the spine is beautiful. <laughs> and then finally, my number one favorite cover of the year is Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. I really, really love this one. I think that the topography is just gorgeous. I love like all of the swirly like letters. Um, they're very like whimsical. And then this bottle here is so pretty and it has the New York City skyline in it, which I really love. And I love that the bridge has like the lights on, um, just like everything about it I love. And then below it, it gives you the effect of like the ocean because we have like the ocean in the bottle. So it's reflecting down, but then down here where like we should see the reflection of the skyline, we actually see a ship. And I think that's really beautiful and they're traveling by ship in the book. So it ties in really well. And I actually really, really love the cover of the second book as well, Wayfarer. Um, that book is coming out very soon. And yeah, Alexander Brecken was blessed with these beautiful covers. So those are my top 10 favorite book covers of the year. Let me know what some of your favorites were, if you agree with the ones that I had on my list, if you think that I left any out that should have been on here. I just hit a pile of books there as you can't see all the piles that are out of frame. Yeah, so let me know what some of your favorites were. And that's all that I have for this video. So I will see you guys soon with a new one. Bye!